Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is your host, Elgin Martinez from the Immigrant Edification Channel, the only channel that addresses real immigrant issues. Coming to you with another informative video, but the video this afternoon is just going to be an update on the injunction that was placed on USCIS by the Southern District Court of New York in reference to the public charge final rule. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, on July 29, 2020, the U.S. District Court of the Southern District of New York enjoined the government from enforcing, applying, implementing, or treating as effective the USCIS final rule on inadmissibility on public charge grounds during the COVID-19 pandemic. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, the court also issued a separate order granting an injunction that enjoins the government from taking any action to apply the 2018 farm revisions, the Department of State interim final rule on visa ineligibility on public charge grounds, or the President's October 4th, 2019 proclamation suspension of entry of immigrants who will financially burden the United States health care system in order to protect the availability of health care for Americans. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, in response to the injunction from the judge, USCIS came out with a guidance. That being said, USCIS guidance on how it will adjudicate cases due to the July 2020 district court injunction of its public charge final rule. Ladies and gentlemen, on July 31st, 2020, USCIS posted guidance stating that as long as the July 29, 2020 SDNY decision is in effect, USCIS will apply the 1999 public charge guidance that was in place before the public charge rule was implemented on February 24th, 2020, to the adjudication of any application for adjustment of status on or after July 29, 2020. In addition, USCIS will adjudicate any application or petition for extension of non-immigrant stay or change of non-immigrant status on or after July 29th, 2020, consistent with regulation in place before the public charge rule was implemented. In other words, ladies and gentlemen, USCIS will not apply the public benefit condition. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, the court injunction are nationwide. That being said, we've come to the end of this video. Share, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I upload another video. Last but not least, thanks to all my viewers and subscribers.